right, here's one for Buick fans. Check this out. 1964 Buick Wildcat two-door hardtop. True Wildcat. Numbers matching 401 underneath the hood. 325 horse, 445 pound-feet of torque. And that's paired up with an automatic transmission. This would have the turbo hydromatic. 400 in it, power steering, power brakes, AC, AC blows cold. So wow, nicely equipped car too. Let's go ahead and take a look at this front grille, bumper, chrome, bright work. Looking good on this car. Now if you want to check out the still pictures, you can see the engine bay, the underside, interior. Check out the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And of course, you can call us 507 386 1726. Sunburst Yellow K paint code, Arctic White C. So, K being the first color in the color code, C being the second would be a yellow bottom, white top. So, this car is still looking very original to the way it would have came from Buick back in 64. Fawn interior. 423 trim coat on it now of course the seats have been recovered has had repaint but kept very similar to the way this would have came remember we do consider trades financing is available of course we can assist with transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract consult with your sales associate when you call in or email look at how straight that car is down the passenger side too car originated out of California was a California built car. Take a look at the chrome, taillight surrounds, wildcat emblems on the back. Looks good back here too. You may find a few little touch-ups. I think I've seen a couple up here. I don't even know if I can get it to show up in the camera if you can see. Right there, are a couple very, very small spots. There are some imperfections, but hey, this is one. Get in it, turn the key, go. Got power steering, power brakes. Again, the AC, AC blows cold. You know how these are going to go down the road. It's going to ride out like a Buick. Now, some of the maintenance things that have been done in the last couple of years on this from the previous owner made us a list. Has had the carb rebuilt and choke line um, repaired. The power seat switch. The power seat works pretty decent. It's a little bit touchy, but it does work. Um, replace wheel cylinders and brake hoses, replace front shocks, uh, neutral safety switch, switch was replaced, um, new brake master cylinder, radio was repaired, I did try the radio, radio works good, detailed the engine compartment and repaired the tag light where the plate would be in the back. Let's go ahead and look down the driver's side of this. Riding on the Buick Motor Division wheels looking good. Now there are a few just kind of little bit of discoloration in the paint. I don't know if I can get them to show up very well because again they're tough to see. Being pretty fussy when I'm showing you some of these things I'm pointing out but trying to give you a fair evaluation on this car from the video and pictures. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. panel both sides look good let's check out the vinyl in the back rear seat very good condition as well as the front free of rips tears holes really much for discoloration or anything check out the headliner also a nice shape dome light works all right here we go. Let's look at this interior and dash. Of course, one of the cool things in the Buick, if you grew up around these, right there, that speed warning um, where you could set it. And once that indicator for how fast you're going gets around to that little yellow knob right there, depending on where you have it set at, it's going to buzz, let you know, hey, going a little too fast, possibly. Of course, when Grandpa and Dad were driving it, that's all you did is want them to hit that speed indicator. All right, and as you can see, it is a cold start, cold start, light working, 
fuel gauge works man this one runs smooth as far as how to run the AC in this take and push this towards the front of the car that turns on the blower fan kicked in the compressor and you can see we have vents down on that side you also can see another one over here a little further there you go and yes it does blow cold so I'm gonna pull that back off it freeze me out in here radio does also work I mentioned that earlier works very well listen this thing run Oof. smooth runner slip around to the back no crazy exhaust no big cam, anything like that. All right, I'm gonna pause this a second. I wanna pop the hood and let's check out that engine bay and we'll wrap up this video. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. All right, here we go, the hood pop. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, a little over 47,000 miles on the odometer. It's believed to be original miles on this car. Unfortunately, once the car becomes so old, the miles will not stay in the title. But judging by the looks of this, would not surprise me if that is original miles. Obviously, the interior's been done, it's been repainted. Take a look at this engine bay. So this has been gone through. This car is probably better than it was new. AC compressor, and again, you can see it's a more modern AC classic auto air. It's an R134A. This now smooth that runs very clearly. Stamp on top of the block right there that this is numbers matching, plain as day, power steering, power brakes, that new master cylinder, and again, all those things I mentioned over the last couple of years. Of course, on the top of this, you're going to see Buick Wildcat 445. 445 was not the engine size of Buick. That was the torque. That's the uh, torque rating. 401 cubic inches is the engine size. Of course, the 445 would be pound feet of torque. 325 horse on this 1965 Wildcat two door hardtop give us a call 507-386-1726 uniqueclassiccars.com click on the link down below this video in the description is going to take you right there and remember we do consider trades financing is available of course we can assist with transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract consult with your sales associate when you call them or email